while Euron is distracted in the Red Keep, with Queen Cersei Lannister finally giving in to his lust following the departure of her brother and lover, Theon and his remaining Ironborn sneak aboard the Silence. After silently murdering members of Euron's crew, they find Yara inside the ship. He awkwardly unties her before she hauls herself to her feet, proceeding to headbutt him, knocking him to the ground, due to his earlier abandonment of her. However, she then drags him to his feet, and the two share a mutual look of respect. The two then make their escape, spanning their minimalist forces across Theon's three ships. While Yara expresses her desire to reclaim the Iron Islands, Theon is somewhat forlorn, despite Yara's promise of refuge from the threat of White Walkers on the mainland. Theon states that he will follow his queen, but Yara recognizes he wants to fight in the north. Having done his duty to house Greyjoy, she lets him go. Theon makes it to Winterfell, where he is greeted by both Daenerys and Sansa. After he explains to Daenerys that Yara has sailed with her men to retake the Iron Islands from Euron in the name of House Targaryen, he asks permission from Sansa to fight for the North, and they share a hug as they are reunited. Theon later takes part in a meeting in preparation for the great battle to come, and announces that he will defend Bran Stark in the Godswood, as reparation for having previously taken the castle from him. Theon is later seen sharing a hot drink with Sansa shortly before the army of the White Walkers arrives. In the Battle of Winterfell, Theon stands guard for Bran along with the Ironborn and several other soldiers. When the Whites attack, he fires several arrows with dragon glass arrowheads, but it does little to stop the onslaught. When the Night King arrives with several other White Walkers to kill Bran, Bran calls Theon a good man and thanks him, having redeemed himself. Knowing that there is no escaping death at this point, Theon chooses to die with dignity. He nods at the Night King, challenging him. The Night King steps forward and Theon charges at the him with a dragon glass spear. The Night King easily stops Theon and breaks his spear in half, then takes hold of the sharp end and stabs Theon through the stomach with it. Theon falls to the ground, and bleeds to death as the Night King makes his approach towards Bran. Theon's death was not in vain, however, as it bought just enough time for Arya Stark to arrive and kill the Night King, preventing Bran's death. In the aftermath of the battle, Theon's body is retrieved and put on a funeral pyre. He is mourned by Sansa, who places a pin with the insignia of House Stark on his chest piece, as a sign of gratitude and recognition of what Theon did for Sansa and her family since they escaped from Ramsay. Theon's body is then burnt along with the thousand others who died in the battle against the dead.